The train runs on a route known as Yishenno. It starts in Yiwu, a small commodities hub in eastern China. From here, it rows west through the far reaches of China and the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, across Central Asia and into Europe. Each train is laden with containers of silk, porcelain, and other Chinese commodities. According to local customs, Yiwu has exported 190 million U.S. dollars of goods since the railway opened. Trade is rising at a rate of 50 percent a year. This train can carry carloads of Made in China products to Central Asia, Central and Eastern Europe, as well as Southern Europe. At the same time, Yibu also gives a boost to import-related industry, hoping to introduce Made in Europe products into Yibu via rail and then every parts of China. It's not just Chinese businesses that are seeing growth. At the other end, goods are loaded onto the trains to be shipped back to Asia. The amount carried is jumping by more than 350 percent a year as farms flock to the railroad, such as Friesland Campina, Netherlands' biggest dairy cooperative. In a small northern town of Vindam, more than 15,000 tin cans of infant formula Friso are loaded into a 45-foot container. The container will be first transported to Hanner in Germany by truck and then on to Chongqing by freight train. I think the advantage compared to air freight is that uh, the costs are way lower. Uh, it's roughly 10 times cheaper than making use of, uh, of air freight. So that's a lot of money, uh, which also uh, our farmers are ben benefiting from. Um, and if you compare it to ocean freight, you see that the transit time is like ho roughly half of the, the transit time of an ocean container. Uh, so that means uh, roughly a saving of uh, almost uh, 20 days which is, of course, uh, it enables us to reach our Chinese customers faster. This container is very well able to transport a lot of other goods that Friesland Campina wants to sell. And dependent on the demands in the market, we could also use this same transport also for other product types. At its far western end, the network runs as far as London and to the capital's vast new logistics hub. According to the hub, the new link between the factories of China and the shop floors of London is proving a popular one. We have a lot of interest from a lot of clients, especially the car manufacturers, the pharmaceutical companies, some companies who are also manufacturing toys, because this train, the transit time being only 18 to 19 days, can bring cargo right on time from source to consumption for Black Fridays or for any other prom promotional activities that take place in the UK. The first Chinese train arrived in London last January. Since then, Soveria says it has given companies a new option about how to ship. Well, if you look at the One Belt, One Road today, which is reshaping the supply chain between the UK and China, this train is time sensitive, which means it's reliable, it's cheaper than air, which is cost effective, it's efficient because cargo is moving only on land. And these are the very critical points for supply chain today, speed, and reliability. And yes, I think the One Belt, One Road will be very critical in ensuring that the supply chain moves in the right direction. And we in DP World are well established to make this happen. The freight trains are not only bringing benefits to the two ends of the line, but also the countries they pass through. The town of Sabe Kaust in Russia's east is a key border terminal for China Railway Express. It provides trains, equipment and terminal services for processing containers. In the first 10 months of 2017, more than 1,000 China Railway Express trains passed through Zabaykowsk, about a third of all those traveling between China and Europe. We are growing our rolling stock. I mean, we are buying new wagons. We are also developing our terminals. Uh, on the cross-border points in order to make sure that we run these operations when we change uh, Chinese railway uh, into Russian railway gauge quickly and fast. So we have like an um, investment program which includes uh, such things as uh, uh, reconstruction of our terminal in Zabaykalsk, Manjuri uh, to increase capacity. After passing Zabaykalsk, China Railway Express trains take the iconic Trans-Siberian Railway. Their 7,000-kilometer journey passes through Russia, Belarus and Poland, 
before finally arriving into the heart of Europe. Two other routes connect China and Europe. The metal travels from China's northern border at Uranhot and goes via Mongolia and Russia. The western route leaves Alatau Shanko in China's far west and travels through Kazakhstan, Russia, and into Europe. In all cases, Russia is a vital link for trains crossing Eurasia. The majority of transport and economic land connections between the countries of Europe and Central East and Southeast Asia go through Russia. Undoubtedly, cooperation between Russia and China is of crucial significance. Development of transit railroad transportation through infrastructures of China and Russia will contribute to implementing idea on conjunction of Belt and Road Initiative and Eurasia Economic Union, initiated by the leaders of China and Russia. Moscow's Versino station has become a transit hub for China Railway Express trains. Thanks to the growing number of trains, cargo volume last year increased threefold. We expanded the customer's zone here in Valsino station. It can now hold up to 600 containers. The container areas have been widened as well. 2,000 containers may sit there at the same time. And for the coming year, we are planning to build an additional terminal that will have the capacity to maintain more than 2,000 containers. Since beginning in March 2011, over 6,000 journeys have rolled back and forth between China and Europe. In that time, the route has shown itself to be safe and reliable, green and environmentally friendly, quick and convenient all year round. With demand growing by the day, China Railway Express plans to go from 6,000 journeys in the last seven years to making 5,000 trips each and every year. It's a steep ambition. But as more experience packaged by rail of dairy delivered fresh or of factory parts delivered just in time, then is an achievable one. China and Europe have never felt so close.